Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Rudy with the Indiana Bass Hunter. Uh, I'm going to show you guys my top 10 lake, reservoirs, and pond lures and go-to baits that I fish with, uh, which has been doing me pretty good uh, all summer long. Uh, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, if it's a little windy, or not too choppy, a little overcast, I'll go ahead and throw a double down plopper, whopper, whopper plopper in the water. And uh, basically what this does, it spins, makes a lot of vibration, a lot of noise in the water, and attracts the bass. I've had several big blow ups on these things. Uh, even the small ones will blow this thing up. Uh, one of my favorites, the uh, Whopper Plopper, Double Down Plopper. Uh, whenever I'm at a lake or a park or a pond, uh, I also like to throw this uh, Red Eye Shad from Strike King. Uh, this little guy has done me pretty good these past couple weeks. Uh, I mean, I, that's one of my favorite go-tos uh, as far as crankbaits. I mean, I, I, I love it. So, and then I also like to take my, my skirts off of the uh, my chatterbaits. I'll get a rage tail swim bait, throw it on there. just like that and when you throw in these chatter baits in there I usually like to throw right along the bank at a 45 coming down along the brush uh, late in the afternoon like around 5 5 o'clock 6 30 and uh, they will tear this thing up uh, another thing I like to do whether the water's a little murky and it's not so clear is I'll go with the 3 8 ounce or quarter ounce jig and I'll throw like a creature trailer something black and blue just like that uh, another one of my go-to's I like I like fishing this through the through the brush and rocks if it's if it's not too mossy or, or, or weedish then uh, I'll go ahead and throw this guy in there. And when the water is really clear, I'll go with a more natural color, uh, three eighths or quarter ounce jig with a craw on there on the end. And then a lot of times what I like to do is I'll, I'll bend the weed guard up just a little bit. So that way it's, it's somewhat hiding that hook as you're going through the brush and whatnot. Uh, another one of my go-to's is the Z-Man Chatterbait. Either like a pumpkin or a watermelon color with a chunk on there. I like to throw this in there a lot. Um, you can Put a craw or a swim bait on here. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you, you match the colors. Uh, you basically want to get more vibrations and more uh, attractiveness in the water when you're throwing these kind of trailers on there. But overall, you're pretty much going to get the same result. But uh, that's another one of my go-to's. Uh, this is another, this is a trickster chatterbait. I like to throw this on with a big swim bait. And uh, set it in with the 
with the screw set. there so that your bait's nice and, and straight you don't want it bent or you know you kind of you want it just like that so when you're pulling this thing your your tail end is flapping on both sides you don't want it bent because then it's going to pull your your chatterbait down and you're not going to get that smooth action in the water. Uh, another one I like throwing too is a frog. Uh, I'll throw this on a overcast day or even if it's hot and the water's at a standstill. I'll throw a frog in there. Then uh, another one of my go-tos, I like to throw a uh, Texas rig uh, creatures uh, in the ponds, lakes, or even reservoirs right off the banks. And uh, if your, your water's a little murky, not so clear, I will go with something a little bit darker, like a black or a bluish. But if it's clear I'll go with a more natural color like a pumpkin or watermelon color and then another one of my go-to especially when you're fishing for bass is the old monster zooms 10 inch worm uh, I like to Texas rig this with a tungsten bullet weight I've gotten a lot of big bites on, on these. Uh, I've had a, a lot of good luck with these big worms. Even the small ones will bite this thing. A lot of people think that you won't get bites on a big worm. And uh, really, you will, depending on how you're fishing this thing. Uh, you can Texas rig it, Carolina rig it. It's all how you move this bait in the water. And uh, like I said, even the small ones will jump at this thing. Uh, I like to throw it in pockets under brush, uh, popping it through the grass, you know, nice and slow. And uh, yeah, that's one of, one of my favorites. I mean, I, if your water is really clear, I'd go with a more natural color, like a like a watermelon candy color, or go with uh, uh, Old Black Monster Blackberry if it's like really murky or muddy uh, a June Bug June Bug Red it's got a little bit of flake in there and then if your water's somewhat blue I like to throw the the plum these young plum 10 inch worms in there or if your water is really murky and, and not very good clarity, I like to throw these red uh, glitter zoom 10 inch worms. And then if it's a really slow day out there, I like to throw these net baits and uh, power bait craws and Texas rig this and pop these through the grass and also through the brush and, and uh, under limbs and whatnot. Uh, I've caught a couple two pounders off these craws. These are one of my favorite craws. And it's, it's basically however you want to do it, whether you want to pop it slow or just drag it along the bottom. Uh, I've had good luck on both. When I, when I Texas rig this, I like to pop it two times let it drop and then roll my slack in slow and then pop 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 to get those flaps up in the air and when it comes down it, lo it looks like the the pinchers are defending itself and when you go to pop it again when the bass zone in on it and it comes up off the ground a lot of the times the second or third time they'll they'll swallow it or they'll tap at it and usually on the fall 
or on the pot. And when you fill it, you'll fill a, a thud instead of a tap tap. If you're popping this through the grass and brush and whatnot, uh, if you feel a tap tap, just stop, wait, and then pop it again. And if you feel that thud, set the hook and uh, reel them in. But those are all my my go-tos. Mm -hmm. If uh, you guys got any questions, uh, anything I can answer to help you guys out, catch more fish, uh, hit me up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys out there.